Old Irving Park on the northwest side was once a separate community. And when it was first developing, this was one of the model homes. It was built in 1889. And what I love about it is the detail that you see on the outside we're gonna find is multiplied on the inside. The man who built it envisioned this entire neighborhood being elaborate Queen Anne's like this. Didn't build many more, but keep that in mind as we go inside and see just how ornate it is that the entire neighborhood might have looked this way. Let's go on in and meet the agent. This is Beth Allen Tiernan. She's the agent listing the house. And Beth, this is a remarkable place. It's got so much detail I mentioned outside that we can't really even begin to show it all. Well, um, welcome, Dennis. And there's so much to say about the home. We're standing on the main level. Um, you've just come from the formal vestibule. There's a double living room on the main level, a formal dining room, and an expansive uh, kitchen great room. Some of the important details that are so beautiful in this home are the beaded spindle work oh, yeah. that is restored from the early 1900s, the period wallpaper from England, the inlaid woodwork on the floor, the restored staircase, and my favorite feature, there are 16 art glass windows in the home. They're pieces of artwork from the early 1900s. They're on all levels. And they're very fresh, they're floral, and contemporary for the time. Your sellers mentioned that up in the master bedroom where this turret continues and they yes. have another level of glass like this. Yes. He said there are prisms dancing all over the walls. It's got to be amazing. Yes, it is. We get a lot of light. And one thing we should mention about the light, we'll see it better when we're outside, is that this is an enormous lot. This is a 65 feet wide lot compared, of course, to the standard 25 in Chicago. Yes. So what they've got here, all this south side, uh, before the next house allows light in all the way to, to the house. To all the windows. Yeah, it's terrific. Yes. We don't have that dark back of the house that right. most people get. We'll get outside and see what that does in the, in the uh, backyard. But for the moment, let's just sort of drink in what's in here. We mentioned, you mentioned the wood, both on the floors and on the walls. There are plaster medallions on the ceilings. This house feels as if maybe it's 1899, 1889. It's 1889, and I think the feeling here is the museum-like quality. It's very special. The current owners have paid a lot of attention to detail to restore it, to landmark the home, and of course, it's on the National Register of Homes, too. You know, while we're talking about detail, that's a good time to talk about the foyer here because all this wood we're looking at down here on the first floor looks as if it's original, looks as if it's just been restored, but in fact, what your sellers told me is most of that was gone when the house was divided into a two flat. Most of this was taken away. Some wood was still left upstairs and all this is a reproduction based on what they found above. Yes, that's it's correct. Pretty impressive. It was a two flat and uh, the previous family, the Wilsons, um, took the original portion of the staircase upstairs, replicated it downstairs to bring it into a single family home feel. Upstairs, there's four bedrooms and two full bathrooms and more of the art glass windows. So now we, we leave the old part of the house and come to this piece that was added on, and it's huge. Yes. Well, it expands the width of the home. Yeah. So we've just left the formal dining area, and we're in the great room or the sun room. Mm -hmm. Pick your name. Um, there's a kitchen that opens up to this room that could be expanded into the room. Sure. And this is so big that if we expanded the kitchen, it's not as if we'd be giving up a lot. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. This, this addition was made in the 80s. So there is, you know, what's beautiful about it, again, it's more of the art glass is mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And it does open up to the porch outside and the backyard. So it's very light and bright and happy space. Well, one of the things I love is that when you look at the back of the house, you get a porch and a turret, which the front of the house had. So the additions yes. were done really nicely. And then, oh my gosh, in the city to have a yard this big, this wide, is unbelievable. It's fabulous. Uh, 65 feet wide, west-facing garden. What can I say? It's a gardener's delight. There's raised vegetable beds, the original brick wall, and the north wall is covered with raspberries. And with gardeners. This is Terry and Sharon, the sellers of the house, who have grown this huge raspberry forest in just two years. Two years, right. from six original plants. Do you mind six, if I six little sticks. Really? Oh, try mind one. if I They're dig delicious. in? Oh, this is great. This is why I have this job. 
Wow, and Terry, you said that the next buyer gets all this. All this and more. They're very prolific plants and they give you an enormous quantity of fruit.